Hey everyone, I'm Silent Core and welcome back to Silent Spotlight. Let's take a look at this week's updates. We now have a new tutorial, that's right, a brand new shiny tutorial island. In this tutorial you'll find yourself not only learning to mine, fish and cook, but also fighting off hordes of undead. And greeting an undead cow. This is a whole new area designed to give new players a much better opening game experience. So if you haven't already convinced your friends to play RuneScape, now's the time. If you already have a RuneScape account and want to give it a try, you don't need to make a new account to play it. You can just talk to Godric, found here at the southwest of Taverley, near the bank. Make sure you also tune into our official livestream on Twitch with the director's commentary from the developers themselves. Next up is the world map. This is one of the most requested improvements from the community. The map has had a whole technological rework, meaning loading time has been drastically improved. Watch as it opens almost instantaneously. The free and members areas are now highlighted so free to play players can now easily distinguish the areas they can access. You can even click on the region badges to see what's in store for these members areas. It will show you locations, quests or signature features for that area. The whole interface has been visually updated for easy navigation around the map with clearer to read fonts. Next up is CoinShare. This was delayed from last week just for those last few finishing touches. There's been a massive improvement made to the whole CoinShare system. Firstly, CoinShare will no longer give the player or group money directly. Instead, it will work out which items were dropped and give every player in the group a stackable, tradable item that will be a shard of that item. As you'll see here, the God Sword produces a God Sword shard. Collect 120 of these and then you can click on the shard collection to combine them into the item. Shards that are dropped will be placed straight into your bank instead of your inventory to allow you to keep your precious inventory space. If your bank's full, it'll go to your inventory and if your inventory's full, it'll drop straight to the floor. Don't worry, you'll get a chat message letting you know exactly where it's gone. The best thing about this update is it'll really help out the economy. The previous system forced the price of certain items to behave differently from the real market value. This will tone down the cash and item injections caused by the previous coin share. Lastly, the Festive Aura will be making a return to RuneScape. Just like last year, the Festive Aura will reactivate through the whole of December. Players that already have the Aura from last year will have it automatically reactivated. If you don't have it, you'll have to collect it from one of the snow implings dotted around Gilinor. You can find these at Birthrope, Edgeville, Ardoin, Falador and the Grand Exchange. Every day during December you can activate this aura for 30 minutes of 50% bonus XP. It can be used for a maximum of 50,000 experience per day. Remember it can only be used once per day, so make sure to log in every day in December to make the most of it. I hope you all enjoy this week's updates and I'll see you next week.